they're a very unusual structure on this. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? The vast expanse of the cosmos, where mysteries unfold and secrets lurk in the shadows, something extraordinary is happening. High above our moon, a silent guardian of the night sky has become the stage for an enigma that defies explanation. A colossal structure beyond our comprehension has been detected moving with purpose towards our lunar neighbor. What secrets does this massive structure hold? Could it be the key to unlocking the mysteries of our universe, or does it herald an event of cosmic proportions that will forever alter the course of human history? Join us as we venture into the darkness to unveil the truth behind this massive structure moving close to our moon. The moon, a giant celestial coffee bean, is about a third of Earth's size, with a radius of 1,080 miles, or 1,740 kilometers. If our planet were the size of a nickel, the moon would be the petite coffee companion. Consider the distance between us and this celestial body. On average, it's 238,855 miles or 384,400 kilometers away. 30 Earth-sized planets could comfortably squeeze into that gap. But this isn't just about celestial measurements. It's about how the moon keeps Earth in check. By moderating our planet's wobbly dance on its axis, the moon gives us a stable climate. But as we admire the moon from afar, it's gradually playing a disappearing act. You see, the moon is inching away, bidding farewell to its earthly companion. Without an atmosphere to shield it, the moon's surface faces a constant cosmic barrage. Asteroids, meteoroids, and comets rain down, leaving a trail of craters. The latest buzz is about an image showing something strange hanging out near the moon. This mysterious snapshot has tongues wagging, and the details are a bit fuzzy, like trying to remember a dream after waking up. Some people claim it's a vintage NASA pic, while others swear it's a fresh click from a backyard stargazer. Regardless, what's got everyone buzzing is the peculiar objects hanging out just above the moon's surface. The big mystery lingers, though. Who knows what that object really is? One bold theorist even tossed out the idea that it might be a dust cloud whipped up by a moon-smacking meteor. NASA even threw in their two cents on their website, stating matter-of-factly that the moon's got a constant rain of tiny space rocks. Predictable, they say. NASA's lunar detective, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, just told the space secret about some fresh findings. The moon's surface has some features that were once considered the youthful rebels of the lunar neighborhood because they didn't have many scars from cosmic boulders. This discovery suggests that if we're planning to set up shop on the moon, our gear better be built like a cosmic fortress. The moon's surface might get hit by a shower of space leftovers, thrown out by its cosmic neighbors. It's like the moon is caught in the crossfire of a celestial food fight. While a direct hit is like spotting a unicorn, this rain of secondary debris could be the cosmic confetti we never knew we needed. And just when you thought it couldn't get wilder, some people are calling these findings a UFO alert. Unidentified flying objects around the moon, Recently, eagle-eyed cameras, including ones on the International Space Station, have caught mysterious things zipping around. It's like the moon is hosting its own intergalactic show, and we're all tuning in. The moon just spilled its secrets, and it's not just a quiet, dusty rock in the sky anymore. People have been spilling the cosmic beans about seeing weird stuff through their telescopes. But could this simply be the latest gossip in a saga of strange sightings? Well, according to NASA, all of these could just be space junk or weird camera stuff. However, some folks aren't buying it. They're like, hold up. With all these stories, there might be something to these mysterious snapshots. The government is throwing a twist, saying, those crafts are real, but honestly, they're as clueless as we are. No idea where they're from, how they zip around so fast, or what makes them go. It's like a cosmic mystery party, and we're all just trying to figure out who brought the mind-blowing spaceships. Over billions of years, these impacts grind the lunar surface into bits, from big chunks to fine powder. The lunar regolith, a mix of dust and rocky debris, blankets almost the entire moon, making it a nightmare for astronauts. Beneath this layer lies the mega regolith, a fractured bedrock region. Because of synchronous rotation, where the moon rotates at the same rate it revolves around Earth, we always see the same side. The mysterious dark side, also known as the far side, 
isn't always dark. It depends on the moon's position in its orbit around Earth. While the moon's not going anywhere, its surface is a dynamic canvas shaped by eons of cosmic collisions. The moon's changing look comes from how the light hits it. During a full moon, the sun is shining on the side we see from Earth. But when it's a new moon, the part facing us is dark and the other side is all lit up by sunlight. The moon does a loop around Earth in about 27 days and it spins at the same speed because Earth is doing its own spin while going around the sun. To us, the moon does a full orbit in about 29 days. Because it's close, everyone, from regular sky watchers to serious scientists, likes checking out the moon. No wonder they keep finding surprising things, like a huge discovery hiding on the far side. Hidden beneath the South Pole Aitken Basin on the moon, there's this strange blob, kind of like a cosmic mystery. Picture a heap of metal five times bigger than Hawaii's Big Island tucked away about 180 miles below the lunar surface. This basin, a colossal dent in the moon's ancient face, was formed billions of years back when the moon's hot exterior finally chilled enough for cosmic collisions to leave their mark. NASA's gravity experts, part of the GRAIL mission, teamed up with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter to unveil this lunar secret. They crunched numbers, fine-tuned their calculations, and dug into the crater's crust thickness and the mantle's density. They stumbled upon an oddball blob of mass hanging out underground. Scientists figure it's linked to the crater's creation, maybe an echo from some ancient space smackdown with a metal core. We won't see this lunar extra weight just by glancing at the moon, but it's making its presence felt. Picture a wonky dimple, a little over half a mile deeper than the rest of the crater floor. They call it the Central Depression, a quirky dip in the South Pole Aitken Crater. This crater was already a lunar rock star, being the biggest preserved crater in our solar neighborhood. The plot thickens, though, because this newfound mass adds a dash of spice to the lunar enigma. It's like the moon's got a secret and scientists can't wait to uncover it. Maybe future moon missions will swing by the South Pole, adding another layer to this cosmic tale. Scientists are all excited about digging into the lunar mess because it could help us uncover the backstory of a massive impact that created a crater. It's like solving a celestial mystery and adding puzzle pieces to our understanding of how the moon and other space buddies evolve. In 2011, the GRAIL mission sent twin spacecraft to orbit the moon for nearly a year. They did some lunar detective work, mapping out changes in the moon's gravitational field with laser precision. We've got the fanciest gravity map of our lunar buddy ever. This data gives us a bit of a blurry snapshot of what's happening both above and below the moon's surface. It's like having a sneak peek at the moon's secrets, revealing areas with more stuff. Whether towering landscapes or denser rocks, gravity spills the cosmic beans. These maps make it easy to spot the difference between most of the moon's big craters and the South Pole Aitken Basin. Some craters have these things called mass cons, short for mass concentrations which scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory discovered in 1968. They look like bull's eyes on gravity maps, a strong gravity circle in the center, surrounded by a weaker gravity ring, and then another stronger gravity ring. The reason for this is a bit like how when we drop something in the water, the ripples spread out. When stuff hits the moon, the low-density crust and high-density mantle adjust, creating this gravity bull's eye effect. The South Pole Aitken Basin doesn't follow this pattern. To figure out what's happening underground, scientists did some brainy calculations and came up with a model that reflects the natural system better. Turns out, there's a big chunk of dense material in the moon's upper mantle. One idea is that it could be leftovers from dense stuff formed when the moon's ancient magma oceans were cooling down. But the scientists are scratching their heads over how exactly this layer formed beneath the basin. The real head-scratcher is why this layer chose the basin as its home. Maybe it's a cosmic mystery, but some people think an ancient space smasher might be the culprit. A colossal rocket, way back when, crashed into the moon, creating a massive bolo crater. This moon-making rocket was so big that it split into layers. A super-dense metal core and some rocky outer layers, just like the cool planets we know today. When this cosmic disaster went down, it left a deep dent in the moon's surface. The original hole didn't stick around for long. It got a makeover with a touch of molten rock, like the moon's version of a spa day. The melted remains of the ancient Space Smasher's core decided to chill in the moon's divot, adding a splash of mystery. In the latest scoop, scientists took a second look at the basin's edges using data from the Clementine mission. 
Turns out, previous explorers didn't give the crater its proper due. NASA and PALS are gearing up to explore the basin and the lunar south pole, armed with this newfound info. It's like the moon is finally revealing its best-kept secrets. The latest study, however, dug into some really thorough data from the LRO and GRAIL. The crater is way bigger than we thought, like 40 miles bigger. This discovery has folks even more hyped about the South Pole Aitken Basin. Scientists are crossing their fingers that figuring out this crater will give them the keys to understanding how all the stuff in space came to be. Talking about planets colliding, things getting bigger the whole show. Our entire solar system was shaped by tiny things crashing into each other and turning into bigger things. Imagine Earth with its ever-moving plates wiping out the ancient scars of impacts. The moon is like a time capsule with a billion-year-old surface. It's like a record of what went down when the solar system was just a baby. The moon has spilled the beans on one of the biggest impact basins ever. It's like uncovering the cosmic drama that went down in our celestial neighborhood. This finding also puts the spotlight on the dark side of the moon. Astronomers think it had a wild spin when it was born, unlike most other space rocks. It's like the moon has its own coming-of-age story in the grand tale of the universe. Long ago, the moon used to do the spinny dance faster than it does now. Our Earth, being the boss, pulled some gravity moves on it, tugging at the bumps on the moon's surface until it gave in and started rotating in sync with its trip around us. Saturn and Jupiter have moons that are also playing this locking game. Luna 3, a cool spacecraft from way back in 1959. It took off from Kazakhstan's Baikonur Cosmodrome, a pretty epic launch pad. Luna 3 wasn't just any spaceship, it was the third one to reach the moon. It was the trendsetter, snapping pics of the moon's backstage, what we call the far side. The pictures Luna 3 brought back were first blurry, but people were pumped. Why? Because they showed us a part of the moon we'd never seen before. The far side is like the moon's secret garden, different from the side that's always waving at Earth. Flash forward 50 years to 2009. Those Luna 3 images are still making waves. The far side isn't into lava seas like the near side. It's a crater party, with impacts of all shapes and sizes. Astronomers think the moon used to twirl around quicker, but our Earth's gravity had a say in that. It tugged on the moon's bumps, making it line up its spins with its trips around us. This happens a lot, like with some of Saturn's and Jupiter's moon buddies. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, lifts off from Florida. With LRO's top-notch maps and photos, scientists can recreate Luna 3's view way better. Luna 3 was chilling about 61,700 kilometers above, right above 12 degrees north and 120 degrees east. Its camera was tilted a bit, giving us the deets on the moon's near and far sides. We see the famous Mare Crisium and some other lunar spots on the left side of LRO's pick. It's like a moon map with all the craters, from King to Langamac to Gregory and Applewatha. The southern hemisphere lights up with the enhanced brilliance of Sulkowski Crater, a dark shield-shaped wonder with a crisp outline, showcasing its central peak. At the heart of this lunar spectacle, there's a bright dot that steals the show. Move southeast, and we'll stumble upon the Jules Verne Crater, a neighbor to the striking Sarkovsky. Meanwhile, in the northeast, the lunar landscape is ruled by Mayor Moscow Viennes. Rewind to 2003, and we'll find China launching its first astronaut into the great beyond. Fast forward to 2013 and witness the magic of Chang'e 3, a spacecraft gracefully touching down on the lunar surface. China stole the spotlight by marking its territory on the dark side of the moon, a feat announced in 2016. China proudly secures its spot as the third country, following the United States and the former Soviet Union, to conquer the moon. The Chinese military-backed, multi-billion dollar space program has been cruising through the cosmos, painting the universe with its lunar achievements. China's journey to the moon is not just a mission, it's a cosmic odyssey unfolding since that first astronaut soared into the celestial unknown. Chang'e 4, China's lunar explorer, set out to uncover moon mysteries by exploring the uncharted far side. Launched in December 2018, this rover embarked on a journey that led it to the moon's largest impact crater, the Von Karman Crater, nestled within the vast South Pole Aitken Basin. A successful landing on the lunar surface and the rover's eager eyes catching sight of a new type of basaltic rock within the crater's depths. 
This discovery, similar to finding a hidden gem, adds a touch of excitement to the scientific mission. The Chang'e 4 mission made history with its soft landing, marking the first time humanity touched down on the far side of the moon. Their feat is like taking a giant leap into unexplored territory. Imagine the rover gearing up for its lunar exploration, navigating the rough terrain as it heads toward the von Karman crater. This crater, within the colossal South Pole Aitken Basin, stands out as one of the solar system's largest impact craters, almost twice the height of Mount Everest. It's like the moon's own Grand Canyon, a breathtaking marvel waiting to be explored. Despite China's recent accomplishments, it's fascinating to note that their space journey began with retracing the steps of pioneers like the United States and the Soviet Union. The Chang'e 4 mission isn't just a repeat, it's a leap into the unknown, unveiling the moon's secrets one small step at a time. China National Space Administration has a reputation for being really hush-hush. The latest news is that the spacecraft is now in its last orbit before landing. But why did it take so long for the first mission to touch down on the dark side of the moon? It's because keeping in touch with Earth is a real challenge during a far side landing. The moon gets in the way, blocking radio signals. Imagine the Apollo astronauts just floating up there, completely cut off from everyone on Earth when they circled the far side. The Change 4 mission sidestepped this whole communication mess. They sent a relay satellite C into orbit around L2, a kind of neutral point near the moon where Earth's gravity and the moon's gravity cancel each other out. It's like finding the perfect parking spot in space. This relay satellite acts as the go-between for mission control and the Change 4 lander. It's always got a clear line of sight to both Earth and the lunar far side, making sure there's no communication blackout. It's like having the ultimate hotline in space. To land safely on the far side of the moon, a spacecraft like Chang'e 4 needs to make decisions independently as it faces challenges due to longer travel distances and increased communication delays via radio signals. The China National Space Administration tackled this by picking the von Karman crater in the moon's South Pole Etkin Basin. This basin, a sprawling, low-lying area spanning 1,500 miles, blankets almost a quarter of the lunar surface. Scientists believe this crater formed from a colossal impact, making it a treasure trove for understanding the moon's crust and interior. Choosing this site wasn't a simple task for the spacecraft. It had to navigate the lunar terrain autonomously, steering clear of potential hazards on its own. The South Pole Etkin Basin's secrets promise insights into not just the moon's surface, but also how alien metals found their way there. Imagine the spacecraft as a lunar detective, solving the mysteries of the moon's history one crater at a time. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.